really excited because today we launched an initiative to bring old newspapers online. And this uses some of the scanning techniques we've developed in Google Book Search. It also, in some cases, relies on microfiche. But the idea is to bring old newspapers online so you can see their full context. Uh, and it really extends what we've been doing with our initiatives around books and maps and satellite images of bringing offline content online. And so today we've extended to newspapers and we're releasing it as part of our news archive search. That's great. And this is going to benefit the papers as well because they're going to make money off of AdSense. Can you talk about how that works a little bit? Sure. Well, in the overall user experience, what you see are pages that are loaded up and you can actually see all the advertisements as they originally existed, how the columns were laid out. And the team has worked hard to develop algorithms to understand what's a headline, what are the boundaries of an article. So when you click on an article, when you see it in our news archive search, it deep links you right to that article with it already zoomed in and cropped just to that space. You can still pan around the page and zoom out, go to the front page, but there's that whole experience there. And then on the right-hand side, we have two what we view as really useful sections. One of them is related articles, so you can see other articles on the same topic and be able to click easily over to those. And the other piece is sponsored links, which is generated by Google AdSense. So those ads are contextually relevant to the paper that you're looking at. And the majority of the revenue from those advertisements will be shared with our publishing partners. And you said you're sort of trying out different monetization schemes for the for the publishers, like pay-per-view or the advertisement. Um, can you talk about sort of the different things you're trying? And That's right. Well, the, in News Archive Search, there's two different ways that we get articles. One is through electronic feed, articles that are already on web pages. And in that model, that was what was there before today. You can already, for example, go and buy an article for, say, $3.95 from the New York Times. Or a publishing partner can choose to host it for free and make it ad-supported. And now we also are bringing into play these scan newspapers that have AdSense running alongside them. So we know that as we bring these newspaper archives online, it's important to build a healthy business model around them. And right now we're open to experimentation with which, what works best. Pay-per-view, advertisements run alongside, and we'll see over time what works. So how many papers do you guys have signed up? I know the launch was today, so. Sure. Well, as of today, we have more than 100 newspapers. and millions of articles that are coming online and, and will be now included in the archive search as part of today's announcements. We already have other partners who are signed up and we're busy digitizing their materials as we speak and we hope to sign up even more partners. So as we sign on more partners and digitize more materials, we'll be expanding the reach of these scanned newspapers and including those articles not only in news archive search but also in Google search on the website. Um, is this something that will become an international product in the future, or will it mostly be domestic newspapers? Well, we're already a little bit domestic, though most of the newspapers that we have are English language. We have some from Quebec, we have some from Europe uh, that are English new, uh, language newspapers. But over time, you know, Google's mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. So we certainly would like the world's information, all of the different newspapers and all of the different languages represented in this product. That's great. Um, so, how will this bring sort of make multi generational like the generations of past um, journalism will be brought online? What impact will that have on a person's ability to compare and contrast news from a paper? Well, I think one of the things that's really exciting about today's announcement is the historical significance. Our news archive reaches back almost a hundred years. And so when you look at what type of content is coming online and becoming searchable and so easily discoverable, it really is content that spans four or five generations of reporting. And to see that art and craft really evolve over time and how journalism has changed is really exciting. And one of the most exciting parts of the product for me personally is I've read a lot of news archives and when you read the article, Yes, you get some sense of what's going on, but to see it newly formatted as a web page, in many cases, isn't as powerful as actually seeing it the way that it was laid out, the way that it was originally published. And so to actually get to see the paper's layout, to see you know, Americans walk on the moon as a headline that's 
almost the entire above the fold space, it gives you an idea of just how big a deal it was and what else happened on that day and really puts it into that historical context. So I think the historical context provided by this particular user experience, as well as all of those generations of journalistic contributions over the past hundred years now being available and searchable is really what makes this product exciting. That's great. And so how exactly does the technology behind this work? I know it's similar to the Google Books. Sure. Uh, well, there's two different ways that we bring these scan newspapers online. One is through high resolution photography and a technology called OCR, which is optical character recognition, where we go through and we find the words. And now, of course, we actually find the articles. So we have our article finding technology on top of that. The second way that these articles come online is through microfiche where we're doing, we don't use the high resolution photography, but we use the images from microfiche, run the same OCR technology on that image, the same article finding, and ultimately produce a digital version of that image. Great, okay, is there anything else you wanna add about this product before I ask you about Chrome, or? I don't think so, I think that it's really <laughs> exciting. We hope that users go and try it out, so they can go to news.google.com, click on News Archive Search, search and when you see something from the Google News Archive, that's one of the new scanned papers and it has this great user interface. So try it out and let us know what you think.